water why she didn't have water but at least I know that uh, it is confirmed that it, they did cut a line so tonight we're going to make some chicken noodle soup now this is a recipe that I got offline oh, I don't know seven eight nine years ago uh, I believe it might have been off all recipes.com don't quote me on that I think that's one of the ones that I did uh, I I kind of use that recipe, but you know, I add things, I add a little bit more to it. I don't go actually by the measurements, but when I will put the recipes in the description, and yes, I realize I haven't put the cookie recipes in the descriptions yet. I will do that tomorrow. I'll put a note to myself after I want to do that tomorrow. So I'm going to turn you over here so you can see the pot. And this pot's a little worse for wear. Um, not worse for wear. It's a little discolored. This was a wedding gift from my grandmother-in-law. And it, it gets a little discolored. I need to, uh, I was using some tub and tile stuff that was non-toxic before and it brought it out clean again, but I can't find that. So I might have to use a little bleach solution to clean it up again. But for now, it's fine. It's scrubbed clean. We're going to start, it, recipe calls for a tablespoon of butter. I probably got double whatever I need um, with the other ing ingredients. I've already got this turned on, so it's probably going to sizzle when I throw that in there. I believe it's called in cooking terms. So I'm going to throw that in there. And stir that up. A little better view. A little better view. I'm going to turn it, twist you a little bit sideways there. see the pot. So that I'm going to cook. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. It says medium high, but I'm going to crank it up a little bit. We don't want to be here all night, right? And plus it calls for a pinch of salt. Oh, we're going to go a couple pinches here. So you can fill up my kosher salt and a quarter teaspoon is fine. I'm like my grandmother, who measures. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more there. This is a favorite of all my kids when they're not feeling well. They like some homemade chicken noodle soup. Yeah, there was a time I made it. Quite a few times one winter, everybody was sick. And then the other, my other pot across the stove, you can't see there, I have some homemade poultry stock that my son had made. 
We're gonna use that up. Got a little extra chicken stuff just in case I have time all over my recipe book now. So we're just gonna let that go a little bit. Stir it off and on. But as I referred to it in the description, some people joke and call it Jewish penicillin. And I don't know about you, but you know, a good soup helps clear those sinuses when you're not feeling great. And while we're waiting for that to cook, I'm going to go back here and see who we got in the chat. Hello, Carol. We got Danny. We got two adventures. Hello, Josh. Hello, Lily. Say hi to everybody else. In there. We got Kenneth with the Daily Dose of the Bible. We have Paul with the PSV Odyssey. We got Trias the same yum, Michael and well, it smells good already, and that's just, you know, three vegetables and salt and pine in it. And then we just start saying hello, hello to everybody. Okay, Amy's in here. I gave him a little heads up that the water line didn't get cut, Amy. We have one double. How are you doing, Daryl? Fill the water and take it the water line. Yep. We're going to stir this around, cook it down a bit. Till the onions are translucent, is what the recipe says. Dang, it smells good already. So we just got carrots, celery, onions, some salt, some thyme. Let's throw some butter in there to start sauteing it. Over medium heat, I got a little higher than medium, but... Another favorite soup too that we use quite often. And it's a really easy one. So maybe I'll do that on a Sunday or something. Get some uh, creamy chicken corn chowder. Really easy and really quick to make and it's delicious. Do that another, maybe on a Sunday. Well, our butter and large soup pot over medium heat. Stir in carrot, onions, celery, salt, and thyme, which we did. Stir in chicken fat. Yeah, I don't use chicken fat. Well, let's throw in some extra butter to the chicken fat. We put that for five, six minutes till it's translucent and soft. So I'm like, see, it's a silicone spatula. But you can leave them in the pot if you need to, and they don't melt. Hello, George and Rose. Anything? How are you, Carrie? Do you ever can or freeze any? Um, sometimes, sometimes if there's leftovers, we'll freeze it. Most times there's not leftovers after a day or two. You never know, I might put a, a small portion aside for later, for another day. Our onions are getting there. Next, we're going to stir in our stock, our bouillon. It calls for two quarts chicken broth. There's like two or three of those cartons. Um, we have some homemade, I don't want to try and put that in the sink. We have some homemade broth. So I'm going to start by putting that in there.
And then I have to make a couple packages of the chicken bullion. It's a little darker because it was made. Um, may not be mostly chicken. It's mostly chicken, but it could be a little turkey in there. We do, we do a bag. And we, we do, basically, we throw you know the bones, we put, throw the vegetable scraps in there, and uh, it gets boiled up with some seasons things and that. So now we want to bring this to a boil. So that needs the next. Season to taste. Really. Okay, season to taste. We need to take a little spoonful. See if it needs more seasonings. It definitely needs some more salt. While I'm at it, I'm just going to use the salt cellar. I saw this little salt cellar here that we have. Oh, it's getting low, so. A little more salt in there. Well, in here, I fill up the salt cellar. I do use ta have table salt too, but let's be fancy. <laughs> we'll use the kosher salt. Also, have the pink Himalayan salt and salt mills. Whatever floats your boat. Today, I'm in the mood just to use kosher salt. One more scoop in there. We gotta bring it up to a boil because we're gonna put other stuff in there, like noodles to <laughs> cook. Wash my spoon. Can you taste it again? And I already had the uh, the broth was already heated up a bit because <laughs> I took it out of the uh, freezer this morning. I forgot to take it out yesterday, so I had it, had it sauteed a bit in the sink with some water, and then um, enough that I could put, pour it in here to put it on low so it was all sauteed. Hey, Busby, how's it going? And I have I have a bunch of recipes. I made a little binder up. It has a bunch of recipes, our, our favorites. It was, a, it was like a duotang or a folder that had a bunch of plastic sleeves already in it, so. One year I gave all the kids that for Christmas with, with all the family uh, recipes that these ones that mom does. And I wrote in there like what the recipe called, where I just cut it says chicken fat in brackets. I just use more butter. Or two quarts chicken broth. No, yeah, but I use about two or three quart cartons just so I have an idea. That calls for the egg noodles. Four ounces. Well, I tried to figure those out, and it was like, I don't know, so it's a couple good size handfuls. I was going to get play it by ear. I thought something was smoking, something must have got on the burner when I was looking around there. It's almost boiling. Hello, Ivy's Dirty, welcome in. Chicken noodle soup. Hey, Mary does. And I made it. <laughs> then once we get it just cooking ready, I'm going to put it on the burner. I don't know. It's time to clean out under the burners, anyways. around here and grab my canister with the egg noodles go in. And I won't use the package. Get some more egg noodles. 
fucking face as I've got some kind of beef to make stroganoff someday soon. isn't it? You know they say a watch pot never boils? Okay, I'm not watching the pot. I'll watch the screen here. You guys watch the pot. It's like a, it's a time. It's a time. It's a time. <laughs> Hello, Michelle Lenardo. Welcome in. keep Kenny in line. His tongue wants to go around slapping things. If we're slapping his brain a lot, he's got to be careful. He's going to do some damage. So it's starting to boil there. We're going to... It says four ounces. This goes by grams, but I'm just going to throw off a few... good size handfuls in there, because they're going to get bigger when, once you, they cook. And we're going to cook until they're tender, probably, so about five minutes, we'll see. Put the rest in the bag, in the canister. Okay. Turn that down to maybe eight. We don't need it boiling over. This one. Stir in egg noodles. Cook until tender. Five minutes-ish. And then the next thing after that, we're going to add, add the last few ingredients. Some salt. Oops. Fill my pepper while I'm standing here. I'm gonna add salt, pepper. I'm gonna taste it first. When I get to that point. Oh, my big thing pepper. Oh, can't be open. We go through a lot of pepper because uh, we have some re recipes that especially the uh, the Korean beef, ground beef one. Especially the Korean beef, ground beef one. Not even call for they have extra pepper and my son must put lots of salt pepper on his head. So that's one boil what a minute, so let's give it four more minutes. I back it off a little bit so steam's not going up my camera. Uh, as many times as his tongue slapped his brain, I think, Kenny, that for <laughs> That's, I was always worried about that. I plan to hungry all over again watching this. Well, that quesadilla you had looked pretty good. It's making me want one. I'll be, it might be a snack for later. Hello, Crystal. Hope you're feeling a bit better. Everybody's favorite soup. Whether it's homemade or canned soup, what's your favorite type of soup? I kind of prefer my, the homemade. I like the chicken noodle. I also make, um, I set the creamy chicken corn chowder. Um, I have a 
roasted butter to squash recipe. I guess Busby loves stroganoff too. I got some of the stuff to make it, but I have to pick up a couple more ingredients. Stay five, super sunny in Michigan. Weather is super nice, but my migraine is still going strong. Sorry to hear that. French onion. Chicken noodle with them. Tomato is my second favorite. I'm not a person that just likes plain tomato soup. <laughs> There's like tomato macaroni, maybe, or like um, vegetables with this in a kind of tomato base. French onion. I haven't found a good one yet. <laughs> Amy says potato soup, then chicken noodle. We had a good, it's like a baked potato and cheddar soup on, on the horizon. It's good. Turn it off as a food. It's not what you're thinking. Oh, psh, yeah. <laughs> Homemade chicken noodle. Well, I haven't had the ball yet. Menudo. Well, those ones I haven't heard of. We're making homemade bean soup tonight for tomorrow. Kenny and I. Bean soup is good too. We saw a, a restaurant out here. It was called Jack Doyle's. And everything's kind of an Irish theme, but they they always had really good soups. And that's I, I first tried. Um, Butternut squash soup. Well, to, think, to think I could find a butternut squash soup that, that tasted anywhere close to it? Nope. Till I found a few recipes and I tried it and I find, found one that was close. Potato cheese soup. Mm. Or broccoli and cheddar. That one I don't mind either. Now one I do not like but I use for cooking is like cream of mushroom. I just can't. My mom tried to cook it up for me when I when I was younger. Usually every day when I come home for lunch, she had cooked picking up can soup. And that was my lunch every day. Some days that she tried to, to pass off the cream of mushroom on me, and it was like, nope, do not care for that. But I use it in cooking all the time. Okay, we've got that was five minutes. Let's see how our noodles are. Those are tender. Those five minutes, and then we're, I cooked up two chicken breasts and cut them up. We're going to add that. Um, if you buy one of those rotisserie chickens and then just cut that up, you can do that too. It's a good way to use up some of that. Just going to throw that chicken in there. I'm going to save some to make a quesadilla later. More salt. We're gonna add some some pep, ground pepper. And now this recipe calls for a pinch of cayenne pepper. So we're gonna get I don't like what, I don't know that much in there. Maybe a little pinch more. So what that cayenne pepper does when you're not feeling well, that definitely helps clear out the sinuses. <laughs> but you can, you can season it to taste. And basically right now you're just, you stir the chicken simmer till heat it through. And then you throw in your salt, pepper, cayenne pepper. Then we're going to simmer it. We'll turn that down. Basically heating it through, but it's pretty much heated through now. I'm going to let that settle down a bit and then I'm going to pour some in a little bowl and we're going to taste it. See if I need to add any more seasoning. I 
there we go. And that's hot. Let's go right through those corral bowls. So take one little taste. My spoon just to make sure it's seasoned. Good on the salt. I'm going to go a little bit more on the pepper. And I'm going to go a tiny bit more on the cayenne. Whoop, not that much. A pinch more on the cayenne. I'm going to stir for much to let it simmer. I'm just going to turn the camera off and I'll move you guys over so we can chat. It's easier if I turn the camera off so I'm not making you guys dizzy by shaking you all over the place. I'll turn you around there. Michigan Carol says, never enough pepper. That's because uh, we don't want a tasteless blah soup. We did spill a little bit on the table. I need to get a cloth to wipe that up. Do this carefully so we don't wiggle the wires around and kick me out. Do you like my keister avatar? Thanks, Busby. Uh, yes, Lillian Crystal should get checked out, but she's got a couple things she wants to do first. And she's concerned about not being able to do them, so she will get checked out. <laughs> Baby butts. <laughs> A little spice. Yep, we want a little heat there. Um, discussions on the uh... yeah, I got that stuck in my head, but I had I forgot to get tortillas the other day. Well, my son's girlfriend picked up some, so I might take <laughs> make a quesadilla later. Oh yes, beans, beans, and musical fruit, more eat. <laughs> yep. That that happened a couple days ago. I had some beans and rice and the beans worked for a couple days. <laughs> I'm good today. <laughs> but a couple days it was like. Well, Chris is why it's going to be stinking stinkin tomorrow after bean soup. I hear if the beans are cooked too much, you're next. It will be mush. <laughs> Her just likes to put on shower. Butternut squash is extreme fibrous. Make sure you hear it. Well, the, the one I make has got a bunch of roasted vegetables in it. Um, it's also in my book. My handy little book. No. Nope. Oh, I should make that someday too. How long? I don't know if that takes a long time or not. It's called Mongolian beef ramen. You know, use that steak, steak slices and raw, instant ramen and vegetables. Not, it's really good too. Feel filling, but. Homemade chicken noodle soup, um, roasted butternut squash soup, butternut squash, leek, celery, onion, carrots, garlic, and you cut, chop them into rough 
big pieces you put in the oven and then you have have a um, mixture of olive oil, well, you don't need special sauce, olive oil and some spices and I think there's a little bit of maple syrup in there. Yep, rosemary thyme, maple syrup. Then you roast it and then you put it in the pot, you put your chicken stock or your veggie stock in there and then you puree it and it's delicious. Creamy chicken corn chowder. Oh, that's all the soups I have in there. Might be. Oh yeah, July we're gonna do tacos with my homemade taco seasoning. I'll put that in when I the recipe when I do that. I like quick and easy recipes. I like stuff that has some flavor. I don't like bland. Okay. Scrolling back, scrolling, scrolling back down here. I scrolled over this thing and now it was popping. There we go, sorry. Well, it's just here the stone is a good time. Her smoke yeah. Her headache goes soon. Um can one of my mods post these link for her live? So I can uh, pin it to the top. No, if I go to do it, then have you ever tried sauteed zucchini and squash with some garlic powder on it? I do some stuff with zucchini. You're talking the like those yellow and yellow squashes that look like a zucchini as well. That would be good together. Hello, my command, and all the beautiful people. That there. Okay, let me jump over to there so I can pin it to the top. Where to go? Where to go? There we go. Pin message. So we have it pinned to the top when we're ready to jump over. We got time yet. Thank you, Busby and Danny. It's my Facebook that was blank at the top that I had a message. Yellow squash and zucchini is amazing together. First, when I first started having zucchini, my mom would slice it up and put it in with some pasta sauce. Okay, whatever. And then she would hollow out some of the seeds and kind of put it in the oven and and roast it and put some cheese on it. And I, that was pretty good. And I had it sliced up and we throw it on the barbecue for a few minutes. And that's pretty good. I'm willing to try zucchini in different ways. I don't mind zucchini. Or the yellow squash. When it comes to other, like the, the fall squashes, like usually butternut or this acorn are my favorites. For anybody to come in late, oops, I'm going to turn it down here for a minute so you can see. Oops, see there we go. There is the chicken noodle soup we just made. I'm just letting it cool. Zucchini and squash are really good together. Zucchini pizza bites are good. I haven't tried that. I haven't tried zucchini fries. Okay. A slice of zucchini in the air fryer would probably be good with some seasonings on it. Let me see what this tastes like. I'm gonna get some veggies, get some noodles, probably get some chicken. It's pretty good. And then we'll mend. No worries. We're going to be here for another uh, 25 minutes, 24 minutes. We made some chicken noodle soup. You can go back and watch the replay. Sliced baked zucchini. Sliced zucchini baked with mozzarella. Yummy. I think she used. Um, it looks like Monterey Jack or something like that. But any cheese, 
Cheese is good. I like cheese. Most cheeses. Not a fan of uh, feta, though. Or blue cheese. Too bad it's not smell a vision. It smells pretty good, too. Especially when it started, first started cooking with the vegetables and the uh, thyme in there. It's already starting to make my nose want to run. <laughs> so I just call it Jewish penicillin that helps you feel better. You know, mamas would make up a big pot of soup. Whether it be a chicken noodle or a matzo ball or whatever. Got yeah, to taste a little bit of that heat of the cayenne afterwards. Try to remember what we're our next we're cooking next month. My book's upstairs. I'll have to look it up later. Next week we'll be doing an oil. And it's one that you can cook with. It's also a good one for boosting your immune system. And it goes with what, the one I talked about last month. So, came in 15 minutes for the thought. Looks like you do something. Yep, I like track a time like that too. Anyone likes grilled cheese should try one with monster, Havarti, and Gouda. Ooh, that sounds yum. Sounds yummy. Also sounds like it would be heck on my uh, lactose intolerance. <laughs> but I play Russian roulette with that. Yeah. Sometimes they have issues, sometimes they don't. I have more issues with the uh, softer ones. Or ones that are aged as much like mozzarella. Aged cheese is not usually better. Yogurt's fine. Lily's never had Munster or Gouda. I haven't had Munster. Gouda. Oh. Lady, I. I used to bake or babysit for when they went away. She took um, the Pillsbury crescent rolls and she put a round of gouda in the middle, and then she put some like honey mustard on top, and then folded it up and then baked it just enough well, till the uh, your crescent rolls are brown and that, that, and then the other stuff's all melty. Mm, that was so good. I haven't done that in a while. Cheese was your meat and potato. Um, used a lot, did a lot of cheese stuff when my oldest was younger. Like I said, my oldest used to eat everything. Until about age three, suddenly ate nothing. I tried to get protein into that kid. He would, he would eat chicken nuggets or a McDonald's cheeseburger. And that was it for any kind of pro any kind of meat. I used to eat everything. Um, so I did a lot of you know, peanut butter sandwiches. Couldn't take to school because they had restrictions on peanut products. Um, bagels and cream cheese was a lot. Or make like a lunchable or homemade lunchable with cheese. Um, what else? And then at home, it was like a lot of homemade mac and cheese and French toast so I could get the eggs, you know, the extra eggs because we wouldn't eat eggs. It was till they were almost 18 years old because so I wouldn't try anything. Shamed by a girlfriend into trying stuff. And then suddenly... Things weren't so bad. We give them a try before saying I don't like them. Was really depressed when they found out they missed out on bacon all those years. <laughs> but now Nikki will try anything before he says no, no to it. And back then, the only vegetables he's corn and carrots. Said they were going to be a vegetarian. 
say you can't be a vegetarian on peas, corn, and carrots. <laughs> Hello, Ray. Welcome in. How was your camping experience? <laughs> My youngest eats just about everything, so it's lucky there. But I, when somebody says they got a picky eater, I understand. I just dropped a noodle out of my shirt. I don't know. I never had that option. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't tough of a parent. Um. I didn't have, I, uh, ah. my mom was toughy. <laughs> she put it somewhat on the table. You try to spoon full of everything that was put on the table. Well, there was some things that I really didn't like. One of them being beets. And I would gag on them and she's looking at, look at me and goes, you, you puke those up, I'm cooking the other can. <laughs> I learned it was like maybe a tablespoon and it's like, Eat them first. Eat them while they're hot. Have you know, a piece of bread or or a, a drink right there. So get them down. Get them. But I, I appreciate it because I acquired a taste for a lot of things. And I've never made my kids. I let my kids try beets. Never forced them to have them because I wouldn't eat them myself. I'm pretty sure my oldest doesn't eat them. My youngest has had them like raw in a salad or something like that. Ray says it was super, super windy, but great. I'm glad you had a good time there. No little visitors during the night. Yeah, I think another, maybe on a weekend we'll do the chicken corn chowder. Listen, yeah, <laughs> I agree, Busby. That would be me. Try a spoon of whatever is served, double dip. I like it. And that was when I wanted that cruise on the horizon in October. Um, sorry, guys, I can't answer that silly girl. <laughs> um, no, I don't. I don't love beets at all. Zero beets, <laughs> Lily. But when I went cruise in October, I thought perfect time because pretty much everything's inclusive. <laughs> Bring stuff out. You, you can order. It's like, sure, I'll try alligator beignets. Sure, I, I haven't had tried crab since I was a kid. I was probably toddler years when we lived down on the east coast. But, uh, not East Coast, loved on the West Coast. Um, so I thought, I'll try crab cake. I tried the alligator beignets. I tried, um, there was a wild, shredded wild boar thing. I was like a slider. It was, it was good too. Like, it's like, why not? It's included. I can try it. If I don't care for it, I can now order something else. And it was, it was a good experience. So I recommend it. You can go somewhere where the food's inclusive. Give things a try. Hey, I got a friend in the basement. I think, we, I think you've seen her in a little while ago. She's out walking. Hi. Yeah, like I, and I found the source of the uh, water leak. Idiots. <laughs> Ray seen a snake today. Ooh, yeah, snakes. No visitors last night. Hopefully it wasn't anything poisonous. I don't know if he was close enough to identify it, but... <laughs> what a four-foot garter snake, Sun Bailey. So that they're going to get it fixed? <laughs> Back over here. <laughs> Somebody accidentally hit the call button in our messenger. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, can't answer. I'm uh, kind of live. Danny D says, long time no see, Amy. I know. But yeah, I was supposed to get a text for whatever reason. I have texts signed up, but they're not coming to me. And she can only get it to send to me if she goes into my account and sends it to me, just to me. But if she does it through where she can text everybody, I'm not getting them. Even if she tries to just send it through me on that side, I'm not getting them. That's not good. So she texted me and said about 30 minutes, um, but they're still over here working. So I don't know. Adelaide, no. Just trying to escape again. Yeah, it, there's also a big hole there. So instead of going all the way around, Amy's yeah. got to go around part way and then part way and then part way and then part way. <laughs> That's a pain in the butt. Yeah. At least it's a nice day and it's not freezing or anything out there. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 80 something still. And yeah, we're still at 82. <laughs> and then make hot soup, but oh well. <laughs> at least it didn't How have did your soup? How did your soup turn out? Good. The, the big holes. Wow. Like, what happened to the coal before you dig? <laughs> oh, no, they have, they have all the orange with the flags. Oh, yeah. Somebody screwed up. Yep. That's exactly what happened. Busby says, look, it's the escape artist. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there she is. Yep. We can get out the darn the spots too. Yeah. Well, I really haven't had Callie anywhere where he had the opportunity to dig. Like you can maybe, no, I don't know if you can see it. There's like the fence that's damaged. It looks like there's some other kids here with the stakes. So maybe I'll go put the stakes in there. Oh, before your eyes, Addie will do her magic trick. <laughs> now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> yep. Always looking for a <laughs> I'll be back. I'm going back to watch this. That's, that's okay, Amanda, and I will put the um, description in later on tonight or tomorrow because I have cup, those cookie recipes put in. Hello, Missy. Bring you up too. Hi, Let's darling. Go. Just You're there. Where's her picture? Hello. Hello. Try that again. Come on. Give me your picture. I have a picture. It's here. Oh, there you are. Oh, it was a white screen. It's like, where is she? Where is she? I'm still here. Uh-oh, she's spinning. Can I show them my hair? My hair. Me? She's spinning and frozen. You know. Everyone's saying, B. What else is open? Can I close it? <laughs> And he says, it's party time. Yep. Oh. Amy to B to, to B. Can, can you see me now? Can you see me now? I see you, but you're freezing off and on. I don't know how I'm freezing. I have four times off and on. It's not even moving. What kind of soup is that for day? Never heard of it. That's spicy. Let me check the settings. Nice here. Go. Let me see if it'll make a way. The TV is not freezing on your end. Most well, says he sees you. Hey, Steve. Hi, I did stuff to my hair too. 
I pulled it out follicle by follicle. You wait, wait. Let's have my clan blow in her soup. Hmm. What am I blowing at? Anyway. I'm hyperventilating now. I'm See, that's a cold soup now. See, that's too cold. Can never please the ladies here. <coughs> you made her frozen. Look on her face. <laughs> Ray says, Steve! Ray! Oh, I can't Busby says the same thing. What is a shioti? Is that a spicy, like a popon, a pepper of some sort? I'm not sure. That's interesting. You can't have well, that shioti. Shioti. Kyle. Ch yes. 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 Choppy too. Emma's kind of choppy and he's frozen again. How can I be frozen? I look perfectly fine. Well, my stream yard, you're freezing and then spinning. Oh, I don't know. He's good on mine. Must be me. Yeah, mine must be. Everybody wants a piece of sarnia with those bridge fries. That's Shioti, why. What's that? I don't know if I'm pronouncing right. It's also known as. Merlotog or Choco, a medical plant belonging to the Gore family. Interesting. Oh, Never heard I'm going to have to Google it. Yeah, I have to look that up. Okay, I'm happy that I'm good on everybody I else. I too much to, from the Gore family. Mm -hmm. Run, Eddie, right. run. I have a question for Danny D. She goes, she goes, V is okay, good okay. on my end. But I said, English, but I don't want to be on the Google. end part because that's too many so beaches. See what it looks like. <laughs> we'll definitely do that later. You hang on by your 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 peach cheek. These are not pinchers. Pe yeah, but these are not peach cheek. And it's green. This Busby. It's a tongue twister. Peach cheekers. You're not having soup, Kelly. Oh. Can I not feed you? I'll feed you when I'm done. Can you give me six minutes? Can you give me six minutes when Ringo goes live, then I'll feed you. So I did a little bit, I cooked them with butter and salt if it's not soups. Something I haven't heard of. It must, must grow down southern states or something. I don't know. Hmm, interesting. Not a common thing we have up here. A lot of gourds up here for decoration. That's why I love fall so much. It's yeah. all the gourds and the zucchinis and the... You name them pumpkins and squashes and the squashes and uh, pumpkin are sort of the gourd family. Yeah. But anything that we have there is a little gourd is usually decorative stuff that I love to do that. Looks too. Fall, but when I was a kid, my grandma, you know, you do that with the orange. Tried. One thing I, I haven't take... tried too is okra, but I was just looking at it, I kind of go, eh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know how to buy okra, but I've had food with okra and it was good, but I just don't know how to buy it. What's it the best it's in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Steve, is call you're, you're causing trouble? <laughs> you're causing trouble, Danny says. Danny's watching you. Huh? He's like, he's like, you're busted. You're busted. I closed the door when I had the screen open so I could get some fresh air. <sighs> <laughs> Question. Is Bernie going to? Is is Bernie going to? Okay. We're going to. M twenty three. Maybe that should be my reason number five to try these chocolates or whatever. Hopefully, she's good on your end because I'm getting glitchy, but we'll just figure that out later. Yeah. 
We got four minutes. He's fine. You're both fine on my end. You're both fine on mine. Yeah. It's just on my my uh Wait, streamer and it's glitching to freeze them. But as long as it, as long as it comes out on the on the YouTube side for quiet afterwards. If I freeze in one of these positions, oh, Chris, for gumbo, I buy it frozen. It's not for everyone. <laughs> I can a gumbo use... recipe. I don't know. I don't think it's in the gumbo recipe in Trevor's book here. Chicken and sausage gumbo. Chicken, sausage, red oil, flour, onion, ice belt, pepper, rice. No, no offer on that one. The water's getting worse, guys. <gasps> no. Yeah. Sounds like a, a couple recipes. One's gumbo, one's uh, chicken and sausage jambalaya that were a friend that had moved here from the States, but had moved back to the States in grade six. But Trevor liked these recipe, these two meals that she made. So she wrote out the recipes and now they're a keepsake because unfortunately she, um, she's passed. So. He's got the written copy. I wrote it out for myself. <laughs> okay, Michael Ann. Written copy of it. I'll meet you. I haven't made them in a while. I'll meet you on the flip side, Michael Ann. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Yeah. Thanks Perfect. for stopping by. I turn around and go back again. <laughs> yep. How dare they put holes in, in your little uh, walkway there? Definitely can't walk as good as I was because it's harder to turn around. Yeah, so you go around and around like a racetrack, it's one thing, but when you gotta go there, then you gotta backtrack and go. <laughs> yeah. It's annoying. We're done. Two minutes. Oh, sorry, one minute. There's the links at the top. So we're gonna jump over and see Call Me B. I'm gonna grab some, some more soup. And I will see you guys over there. Thanks for stopping by. Maybe it'll pop up between now and next Thursday. No, nope, no. Have a great weekend, folks. And bye for now. We'll see ya.